This is very suspicious. 99% of you guys are going to overlook this, but the price of Bitcoin was about to make a new high in 2023 right before the DOJ made an announcement causing the price of Bitcoin to dump below 21,000 and bouncing around the 20,300. Now, we're going to be discussing what the announcement is for Bitcoin and what is next for Bitcoin. With that said, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for daily Bitcoin analysis. This is DC Trading. We're going to start off right now with the announcement. As you guys know, the U.S. Department of Justice was teasing an announcement. And yes, they had a press conference at noon Eastern time. And the announcement was the shutdown of the crypto exchange Bits Lotto. The reason for this was because of money laundering and criminal activities. They had a lot of criminals involved and they had a lot of cold wallets linked to criminals. As a result, they announced the shutdown of the crypto exchange along with the arrest of the co-founder. With that said, in my opinion, this comes at a very suspicious time because, as you guys know, the price of Bitcoin was climbing to 21600 about to make a new high in 2023, possibly to $22,000 right before the announcement. It seemed like this was all planned out just to bring the price of Bitcoin back down. Now, do I think this was planned? A part of me does believe this was planned just because everything was going very well and all of a sudden this crypto exchange bits lotto that I have never heard of caused the price of Bitcoin to go down. Now, the next question is, comment down below, have you guys heard of this crypto exchange because I have never heard of this to be honest and this seemed like a planned attack on the crypto market. Now let's take a look right now because if we look at the Bitcoin liquidations, $69 million was liquidated in the past day, as you guys know. Now looking over here, long positions, $167 million was liquidated on long positions. As I said, we were about to make a new high right before the price of Bitcoin um, dumped to 20300 due to the announcement of the DOJ. And for whatever reason, people were speculating it was Binance. Many people still believe it's insolvent. Me personally, I do not believe it's insolvent. I don't want it to be insolvent because this will be a devastating hit for Bitcoin and the crypto market. Now, we're going to move on to what is next for Bitcoin doing a technical analysis. As you guys can see right here, clearly... We were making a new high right here, guys. We were going to make a new high. Let me change that right here, guys. You guys can see the 21,600 right before the announcement, guys. This was a clear attack. 99% of you guys are not going to think about it. As you guys can see right here. What do we see right here, guys? For whatever reason, this is not letting me, um, sorry about that. So right here, we were making a clear movement to the upside for a breakout heading to 21,600 before dumping. And we luckily bounced off the 20,300 and now we are struggling right now to move back up. As you guys can see clearly right here, looking at the hourly time frame, we are struggling to move back up. If we take a look at the volume, the volume picked up very high for selling, and then now we picked up for buying, and now we're just very low on volume. So the next thing, what's, what's next for Bitcoin? As long as we don't break below the $20,230 price range, we should be okay. But let's just say we do break below this in the next 24 hours. Well, we should expect the price of Bitcoin to dump all the way to 19500 And if it breaks even below that, we can see possibly a $19,000 price range for Bitcoin in the next 24 hours. We need to look out for this, guys. Please look out. As long as we don't break below this, we should be okay. Now, if we take a closer look right here, looking at the Bollinger Band, yes, it is struggling. We were consolidating, about to make a you know newer 
where we're actually consolidating about to make a newer high right before falling back down but the price of bitcoin has picked up and it is recovering very well but it looks like right now people are scared for whatever reason and as you guys can see we have one two three four red candles on the four hour time frame this is not a good sign for bitcoin we need to look out for that guys i'm telling you now looking over here guys it looks like we are heading down the weekly time frame right here and i mean this is a bad sign as of right now but that is all I have for today. We need to look out. What is next for Bitcoin? Well, if you want to make a newer high, we need to stay above the this line of 20,200 in the next 24 hours. As long as we do that, Bitcoin price should be okay and we should make our head our you know our way you know our way up to $22,000 by this week. But if it doesn't, we could look at a $19,000 price range for Bitcoin. By the end of this week, we need to look out for that, guys. Please be careful and do not enter any positions right now because people are getting liquidated, as you guys can see. Almost 70 million liquidated in the past 24 hours. In the past 12 hours, 65 million. So most of it came in within the last 12 hours. I'm telling you guys, be careful right now with Bitcoin and the crypto market. Don't enter positions right now because they are liquidating a lot of traders' positions. Don't fall for the trap. 99% of you guys will fall for it. If you guys don't want to fall for the trap, guys, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications for daily Bitcoin analysis because right here we keep it real and I will tell you the truth about Bitcoin. With that said, peace.